Hello, people who happen to wander into this very video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my instructions of my personal NR 2003 series, Time Travelers of Le Mans, featuring the AD67 mod made by the Pits. Once again, thank you for making that mod. In this video, I'll go over the main overview, as well as the point standings and the rules of the series. Mine, let's just get right into it so I can introduce all this new information into you. First off, the main overview. In every sign-up series, you, the player with the most points gets awarded the main trophy. We have something like that as well. That award is for the overall winner in the series. The overall winner is the player that tops out everyone in all the season. But I decided to take it two steps further to include also a team winner. I did now I award the team winner by adding the points of the team members by the end of the season and adding them together to get a final score to decide the best. And because I can, a manufacturer winner. Next up the rules of the race. There will be no caution, similar to how people in the 1960s raced this series. And all cars have been manually entered to have the same rating. I manually entered all of them myself. I changed the track to have a different drafting distance and also a added point one to the AI line modifier. But that's just my attempts to try equalizing the cars. If you have tips for me to try to equalize the car, please tell me as soon as possible. This is my first time doing this. We're going to start, and of course we're going to start the season with the main stuff. And like many, it's going to start at Daytona. The field of 48... 54 is then split into three groups of 18, which is all in numerical order. Cars 1 through 20 will be in heat 1, 21 through 45 in heat 2, 46 through 67 in heat 3. Top 12 finishers will qualify for the series. Bottom 6 will have to try again next season, or don't. 14 laps around the Daytona road course will decide who moves on to the Grand Prix, which means... Teams could be separated, carrying single teammates. I will describe them in this next slide I have for you. Single teammates. Single teammates are pretty much teammates that don't have a second buddy going into the final roster. And when that happens, you have two options. You can either join with another single teammate to create your own team. You can argue about what the teammate will be. I don't care what you do, just do it. Or you can continue in the races anyway. Really, it's up to you. But remember, the team limit is always two, so that way you don't have an unfair advantage when we award the team team winners. Finally, we get to the schedule. Now, there is no pretty much pattern to me releasing races on YouTube. I just release them when I can and willy-nilly and so on and so forth. With that in mind, let's just get to the schedule. A series of 10 races with 36 drivers will battle it out to find the winners. And we're going to start in the UK for 15 laps, Mexico for 18 laps, Russia for 23 laps, China for 18 laps, Bahrain for 20 laps, and then we go to Brazil for possibly the shortest track in the series for 38 laps. We go to America two times, one for 20 laps, another for 17 laps. Then we go to Circuit de Spa, I'm not even going to attempt to not pronounce that word, for Belgium in 24 laps. And finally, we're going to go to France for 40 laps at Le Mans. Here's the point system for if you win a race, followed by second, third, fourth, so on and so forth. You can pause the screen if you want to check that out. And the point system, if you complete a lap, you get two points. If you lead a lap, you get five points. And if you get the most laps led, you get ten points. And no points will be awarded for the Daytona Heats. For obvious reasons. Once more, if you have any questions for me, please tell me in, in the comments below. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the series.